What's up, YouTube? It's me, a boy, Bullock, the Imba Legend Luck, and uh, this is the new distraction guide. As you guys know, we are getting huge buffs for Kill Spolt 25%, 40% increase, which was 15 before. So it will make uh, Kill Spolt do 25% more damage, and Incinerate also gets a huge buff. Well, 5% buff, but. Uh, this is already hitting 80k plus, so 5% buff will be pretty decent amount. Uh, anyways, this will be a new guide. Uh, before was different, like you had to rain of fire with the to like boost your uh, incinerate damage. You had to kill spell to like boost all your damage. Uh, some things have changed talent wise. Um, we don't change much talents. Um, but our talents got reworked and i will explain what changed and what is good now and how can you play like max damage uh look so yeah uh i am currently ranked 27 on europe 3k 30 32 uh i'm gonna push more for sure i'm gonna push more way 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 more before season ends but uh yeah it's nice to be 3k plus buggies anyway let's go with the um, like talents uh, well let's go with stats basically i'm a human on this look and i of course run double haste trinkets and um yeah i dropped the tier set uh well i dropped the crafted item which was giving me haste for a tier set that tier set already has 500 uh plus haste so i'm okay with uh swapping that the sets i went are for um hands legs shoulders and chest and um head is just normal item like normal pvp uh some people ask me why do you go for a uh, hand uh, hands over a uh, head because uh look at this way uh i don't have it anyway uh, uh, head gives you more haste than hands and i rather lose haste from hands and stats than from head right but head gives you crazy amount of uh, mastery so you can maybe swap between these two and see for yourself but i personally went for uh, shoulders chest legs and uh, haste uh, legs and hands my neck is from pv I got massively carried and this neck is insane 700 haste 740 haste uh, i mainly gem versa plus 33 haste because uh, i already lose so much like versa from like having pv items and stuff like tier sets too uh boots i go for a uh, primal infused drake break drake breakers because of haste uh, there is no other haste uh, versa boots in the game. So, uh, well, that is probably from PV, but um, it's hard to get than this. And I have crafted a ring with uh, almost 600 haste plus 82 haste uh, enchant and 70 haste plus 33 versa on uh, sockets. Um, and it also gives you mastery 243 which is not that bad and yeah that's pretty much it for the items and stats i go with buffing devotion on my weapon uh, which is which gives me 1.6k haste and uh 400 speed if i'm not wrong anyway that's for the items that's for the stats 34 percent plus in combat um and versa goes around 26 ish anyway talent wise we don't change much uh one thing we can change is basically well i run banish i run banish but i also run like the like this uh if if there is nothing to banish in an enemy team and there is no demo log i remove banish and i go here but now we can go here because this damage is also getting buffed and uh on the right side we will have uh you can remove rain of fire but rain of fire is pretty good to get in combat stop drinks and stuff like that so 
is afraid of fire maybe you can go like here or even here or like anywhere you, you actually wish maybe even soul fire so i'm gonna leave my talents like it was before in rain of fire and uh i'll leave this here but like i don't want to forget it and like not use banish against someone that i actually need banish for but yeah, I'm gonna leave talents like this. Um, Bane of Havoc's getting uh, reworked. Well, not reworked, but like Havoc would uh, transfer damage. To, look at this. Marks a target with Havoc for 15 seconds, causing your single target spells to also strike Havoc victim for 60% of normal normal damage. So, uh, if Hellspot hit 100k on a um, target, it would hit 60k on a... Uh, uh, target that had Havoc. So, well, that doesn't work on Bane of Havoc, and now it will, and uh, Bane of Havoc targets will do way less damage, will take le way less damage. So, that's the Bane of Havoc change. Um, what else we worked with the last updates uh, was uh, Air Addiction. Now, you can proc this with the uh, Shadowborn, okay, so you don't need like crazy Chaos Bolt hits to get uh, extra 10% damage, any damage you deal, you can just Shadowborn, uh, Immolate now also increases your Shadowborn damage by 10%, it was only Chaos Bolt and Instant Raid, which is really good, Shadowborn is really good damage, and here, Chaos Bolt and Rain of Fire increase the damage of your next two incinerates by 30%. They added Shadowburn in these two. So you can just Shadowburn someone and you already get 10, 10 40% damage increase on a target for your incinerate and 10% for any other damage you do. And uh, Shadowburn damage also increased by Madness of Azj Akir. Uh, also, what will be pretty good after buffs, which is tomorrow, well, today, or when the video will go live, but tomorrow for me, right now, is we can also play this and get, like, massive, massive Chaos Balls. So, I, I will try it now, but remember, Chaos Balls are not... There is no buffs right now. It will be in a few hours. It's still 10 p.m. server time. So... This build and this rotation will uh, help you deal the maximum damage you can actually get, okay? You can still play Dimensional Rift, you don't have to swap it out, but with this you will get maximum Chaos Ball damage. Um, anyway, so let's go with the... let's go with the... Um, let's go with the rotation, okay? So, you wanna emulate everyone, you wanna emulate every target even the pets okay why immolate increases your damage for shadowborn um chaos bolt and incinerate and you also get flashpoint talent uh which gives you 12 percent haste so once you immolate everyone what you want to do is shadowborn into conflagrate into chaos bolt and you do like crazy damage so you see this add addiction buff that's from shadowburn you want to keep that buff up at all times and also your incinerate is no joke damage it's 86k right 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 you saw that 86k damage like that's crazy you can kill someone with a uh, few incinerates in a row so pretty much nothing hugely changes uh, all you have to do is immolate everyone. Immolate gives you 10% more damage into Shadow Burn, which also gives you 10% more damage and 30% for uh, Incinerate. So, when you Shadow Burn someone, you get 40% damage increase on Incinerate and 10% on everything else. Okay? But, but what also uh, I forgot to mention was. Um, this chaos bolt okay so look at this way 10 percent chaos bolt damage increase another 10 percent and 25 that's 45 percent chaos bolt damage 
plus this, your Kespel benefits maximum damage, also Shadow Burn, from your mastery chaotic energies. And that's 45% plus 25, they are buffing tomorrow. And this, uh, your Chaos Spells will do crazy damage. So basically what you want to do is immolate everything ag again, repeating, immolate everything into, you can Infernal too, you can Infernal of course, for big damage, Shadowburn, Conflagrate, Chaos Bolt, Chaos Bolt, or Incinerate. I already hit 110k Chaos Bolt. I can't wait to hit 100k plus Chaos Bolts tomorrow. Like, I just can't. But yeah, uh, that's pretty much it. Nothing in Talents changes much. You can remove this and go here or here. Like remove Rain of Fire. Go here, go here. Or even go here, actually. Uh, honestly, go here and like get crazy mastery. And like do insane amount of Chaos Ball damage. Anyway, that's pretty much it. Uh, rotation wise, uh, I have position guide if you guys want to know how to position yourself. But like nothing really changes too much. Like I've been asked like so many times, well, if does talents change too much? No, not really. All the buffs and everything stays same. Only thing that changes is uh, like uh, we get more damage from this, from that, from this, and in general, kill spell damage. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. I hope this guide will help you understand how to do maximum damage. So you wanna repeat. Immolate, Shadow Burn, Conflagrate, Chaos Bolt or Incinerate. Your choice. And you wanna keep an addiction buff up either with Chaos Bolt or Shadow Burn. They both do it. Anyway, again, thanks for watching. Hope this short, super short guide will uh, help you understand how to do maximum damage as Destrolog. You don't even have to cast, to be honest. You just can, like, sh Shadow Burn into Conflagrate, Conflagrate, Shadow Burn, do, like, I instant Chaos Bolt or, like, procs from uh, Incinerate Backlash. You can do all the stuff. Anyway, hopefully this explained to you guys how to do maximum damage, how to buff your incinerates, chaos bolts, and everything else. And um, yeah, I hope you guys will climb, destroy solo shuffles, destroy trees, 2v2s, RBGs. RBGs is going to be crazy. I'm going to do some RBGs too. But yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. And uh, make sure to subscribe, do a like, and... Uh, Check out the Twitch. I will be live when this goes, uh, when this video will be uploaded, and I will be trying out big chaos balls in actual soul shuffles. I will see you guys tomorrow. Well, uh, next time, and uh, much love. Appreciate you all.